Today, I'm sharing with you four tips to make more delicious roasted vegetables. Roasted vegetables are one of my favorite dishes to make. Simple cooking and cleanup, and you get unparalleled complex flavors from the browning and caramelization of the vegetables. Without further ado, let's hop into tip number one. To start off, we wanna choose vegetables with similar water, sugar, and starch content. This may sound a little complex, but in general, we just wanna find vegetables that have a similar structure and makeup to provide even cooking times. In general, root vegetables like potatoes, carrots, and onions go together, or something like butternut squash and Brussels sprouts. On the other hand, we probably wouldn't want to roast something like a sweet potato with asparagus because the asparagus is likely going to brown and be done much faster than the sweet potato would. In cases like these, it's much better to roast these vegetables separately. Number two is evenly cut and space your vegetables on the baking sheet for roasting. We wanna leave space between the vegetables so the water content from the vegetable will escape through steam. Once the steam escapes, the temperature rises enough so browning can occur. If the water can't escape evenly, then the temperature of the vegetable will be lower for longer and it won't allow us to achieve that browning effect that we're looking for. Number three is roast your vegetables in duck fat. So this one may not be practical most of the time, but I will say there is not much better flavor than rendered duck fat. If you get the chance to get your hands on some or just render it out yourself when you're making some duck, I would highly, highly suggest it. All you do is use it in the place of olive oil and it's unbelievable the extra flavor it provides. Number four, is apply an acid after cooking. This is a tip that a lot of us do without realizing when we apply things like ketchup or vinegar to french fries. Roasted vegetables create a lot of sweetness when their internal sugars are released, so we wanna balance this with some form of acid. This could be something like an herby yogurt sauce, a salsa, a vinaigrette, or something as simple as ketchup and vinegar. For this recipe, I like using plain lemon juice mixed with a little bit of cilantro, and that's sometimes all it needs. All right, everyone, so we have our beautifully roasted vegetables, and I'm telling you, these are so delicious. We get that nice little acidic bite on the outside, and then as you bite through, the sweetness from those vegetables comes through. Perfectly balanced, gotta love it, easy cleanup. I mean, you can't beat roasted vegetables. I'll have the full recipe in the description of this video, so don't worry about that. You guys can follow along all my steps there. But if you have enjoyed the content, definitely drop me a like and subscribe. And also, comment down below on what tips video you wanna see next. I'll catch you guys in the next video.